annular precipitation. Annular precipitation is the precipitation technique which allows the isolation of protein or protein complex from the annual samples. The general procedure for annular precipitation involves incubating the sample antibody with the protein of interest, then separating the antibody protein complex from the remaining sample and the third step is analyze the annular precipitation. Basically the immunoprecipitation precipitation procedure or protocol involves the following steps. The first step is sample preparation. Sample preparation for the immunoprecipitation precipitation procedure. Then use of isolate control. This is done to reduce the non-specific or uh, noise specific to cancelling the noise to signal ratio. Pre-clearing of the sample, the antibody incubation, precipitation of the protein or protein complex, watching, induction, and the analysis of the precipitate. Let's go in deep step-by-step -step procedure involving the immunoprecipitation procedure. The first comes is the sample precipitation or sample preparation, sorry. Sample preparation. Sample preparation is the first step in the immunoprecipitation. Uh, the samples used for this can be any sample of biologic origin. The first thing we need to have is a lysis buffer and the choice of buffer depends on the goal of immunoprecipitation experiment. Basically, this lysis buffer should always contain protease inhibitor and a phosphatase inhibitor in order to the prevent the cleaving of the protein of interest. And the lysate can be stored at minus 20 or minus 20 degrees. And it is recommended that to have a pre thaw cycle. Generally, for any purpose of prote involving proteins, pre thaw cycles are not recommended as they can cause the degradation of involving the proteins. Isotype control is a control which is used to establish the specificity of, specificity of the signal and the amount of non specific background. Isotype control should be done simultaneously with the immunoprecipitation antibody, but this has to be done in a different way. The next step is the pre-clearing. This step is done to avoid any non-specific binding and thereby avoiding the background signal. This also helps to reduce the background signal and improve the signal to noise ratio. It's an optional step, but if you, inc if you include this step, you can improve the signal. After this, let's say look into antibody incubation. Antibody incubation is the procedure where you incubate the antibody with your protein of interest. The amount of antibody required need to be find out by choosing the different antibody concentration. Let's say there are like one in hundred, one in thousand, etc. So this is done by incubating the antibody along with the immunoprecipitation antibody with the lysate by gentle agitation. This can be done at room temperature or it can be done at 4 degrees overnight. This incubation time and concentration need to be optimized for better results. Next step is the precipitation of protein in the protein complex. Usually protein A, G or L coupled with the beads like agarose and sucrose are most commonly used for protein precipitation. Based on the host species and the type of IP antibody, this beads can be selected. Antibody can be directly concentrated to the bead. It has the advantage that this is having lesser non-specific bands. Once it is done, you need to wash out the impurities. So washing is done to remove the non-specifically bound proteins from the inner precipitate. Washing is generally done with the lysis buffer or PBS. The PBS is less stringent and can be used for analysis of protein protein complexes. After watching step comes the elution. Elution is to dissociate the specifically bound proteins from the antibody bead complex. The elution buffers used can be a uh, Liamelay buffer or a glycine gradient. This also works out based on uh, your eating conditions and the protein of interest. 
what is the protein of interest has been eluted this need to be analyzed and uh, there are various method to analyze the uh, the precipitate this involves sts page western blotting gel band excision and sequencing mass spectrometry salinization counter or x-ray film for 3d active samples etc these are the certain analysis techniques which can be used to analyze the protein which you have precipitated out these are act as a confirmatory test let's look into the applications of uh, immunoprecipitation technique uh, there are various applications for the immunoprecipitation techniques which include uh, you can isolate and detect proteins of interest you can enrich low abandoned proteins study of protein protein interaction and protein complexes you can identify unknown proteins in a protein complex you can verify protein expression in a specific tissue this gives you a general idea about immunoprecipitation the more literature can be found out from the following references like uh, upcam technical resources and uh, thermo scientific technical resources thank you this presentation is done through bio resource it can be viewed at http technology insights.blogspot.com thank you